It's a very eerie sound. That was very creepy. So what is it like living in Taiwan uh, under the constant threat of a Chinese invasion? Uh, well, I'm gonna go find out. Excuse my appearance because I did just wake up from my nap <laughs> and I decided to find a roof somewhere, run up there and uh, film it for you guys. I don't know if you can hear that. Police are blowing their whistles and there's a, an alarm telling everybody to get off the streets, go inside. That's the air raid alarm. So if the Chinese ever attack, that's what it's gonna sound like. It's pretty eerie. As you can see down there, all the cars or trucks and stuff are pulling over. The street uh, will empty. The street's starting to empty all down there. Nobody on the streets. See the police officer down there, making sure everyone's not there. It's a very eerie sound. That was very creepy. It's not as loud as I thought it was going to be. Obviously the signs are in the distance somewhere over there. I know there's an airfield, military air base out there where it's probably coming from. As you can see, this street also completely empty. That street empty. Everyone's uh, pulled over or inside. Now, if you are caught outside, I think, I watched Alan's video, he did one years ago, and I think he mentioned there's a, you, know, you can get fined up to $150,000, which is a lot of money. I actually don't know how long this lasts for. That siren went off for about 60 seconds, then it stopped. It's um, really strange watching the streets completely empty out. Nobody, nobody here. It's like just an eerie reminder of the situation that we live in here in Taiwan. And just like that, the street is completely back to life again. Whew. Man, I'm trying to run and get back into that habit to try and be a little healthier and lose some weight, but it's a nice and cool 41 degrees Celsius with the Humidex. It's making this rather difficult to make this video, I apologize. So obviously there is a pretty serious political divide between China and Taiwan, uh, the two countries. Not really the hugest fans of each other. China is a big dog that keeps barking but seems to never bite, thank God. And uh, because of that, Taiwan, you know, takes those threats rather seriously. And so every year it has these military air raid drills where life here comes to a complete standstill. It comes to a complete halt. Uh, you're not allowed on the streets. Cars pull over, all of that stuff for about 30 minutes to, you know, kind of, I guess, practice, prepare the... Uh, nation prepare the people prepare the military for a possible well who knows a possible anything really um in the south i heard that they've got f-16s uh, landing on the freeways which is kind of cool if you go down south you'll notice the highways in taiwan are quite wide there's a reason for that uh, they double as a uh, they double as a runway for the uh, jets to land on in case of emergencies uh this is just my personal opinion feel free to disagree with me but I think it's not necessarily fair to simply sum up Taiwan as just not being China or the only thing you talk about is that it's not China or the possibility of China invading because I think there's a lot more to Taiwan than just the fact that it isn't China and the whole political situation that's going on. I think there's a lot more to be explored here in Taiwan, which is why I have my YouTube channel. Uh, but it does seem like most people who don't live here, the only, the only thing they really want to talk about is, is a potential invasion, which is a bit sad, but I understand why it's interesting probably the same reason why you clicked on this video you know yeah i just don't really advocate for you know only speaking about that one situation when it comes to taiwan having said that uh you know today is a rather sad reminder or a nasty reminder or an eerie reminder of the rather sad situation that we live in and that there is you know a big divide a big divide between taiwan and china um you know the fact of the matter is day-to-day -day life no one really thinks about it uh people are kind of sick of it people don't really want to talk about it because it's all over the news. It's all they see. It's, uh, you know, pushed into the media all the time. You know, days like today sort of force you to think about the fact that you are taking somewhat of a risk that, you know, that you're living here. Um, now, how big that risk is, no one knows. Only, you know, the big heads in China know. Um, but you are taking somewhat of a risk by being here. And I wonder if, like, Taiwanese people ever think about this. Like, why would you live here? You know what I mean? Taiwanese people are constantly looking outwards. They want to move to places like, not, not, all, not all, I just mean, like, you know, if they were going to move somewhere, they'd, they'd like to try to move in a place like America or Australia or somewhere with more security, you know? Um, so it must look a little bit weird that foreigners are moving here to Taiwan, you know, unnecessarily taking on this threat from China. But uh, maybe that's where like, we get our reputation from, you know? I think a lot of people have this image of foreigners as being kind of uh, losers back home or whatever that couldn't make it back home, so they moved to a place like Taiwan. It's like, why not just stay home when you don't have to deal with this threat? 
<laughs> which I guess is a fair point. Um, but me, myself, you know, I have a lot more faith in Taiwan than that. And uh, I, you know, I just, just choose to take that risk by being here. I think like most people, I just hope to maintain the status quo. Um, you know, I think like most Taiwanese people just don't care about China. You know, I think a lot of Taiwanese people are perfectly comfortable with just letting China be China, provided they leave Taiwan alone and just let Taiwan be Taiwan and let Taiwan thrive and let Taiwan be its own country and its own thing. Unfortunately, um, that's just not the way it really is going. Um, I mean, the status quo is being maintained. However, you know, there's constantly warmongering, there's constantly threats and talks that maybe aren't so helpful coming from, you know, a lot of different sides. Just something to think about today as I woke up from my nap and, you know, listening to... I don't know what that was, but it was extremely loud. <laughs> um, bombs are falling already. Uh -huh. uh, no, but it's something to think about, um, you know, as I wake up to sirens and, uh, you know, run away, the Chinese are coming. <laughs> type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's something I never think about, but today I have to. Yeah, that was what a military raid drill was like here in Taiwan. That's pretty cool. Check it out. They painted bubble tea on this uh, building thing. I don't know what it is. I'm going to find out what that loud noise was because I think someone just lost their job. <laughs> I see. They're lifting up dirt. That's what was making all that noise. Check out this park I'm running around today. I haven't been in it. Figured I explored it. It's really, uh, really pretty. Very tranquil. It's uh, an interesting, peaceful, quiet backdrop amidst the uh, rather serious events that have taken place today. Oh, I wonder why you're not losing weight, Prozzy. I don't want to be fat, but I love pizza so much. <laughs>